um, if you have like a MIDI keyboard or a drum pad or something, you could ha they have presets inside of it that you could go and select it and it would just go right ahead and match the, 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 the mapping that you already have. For Unfortunately for me, I didn't have that um, um, flexibility, right? Uh, my mapping was totally different. Um, so um, when I went in the here, key mapping, all you have to do is select key map here and go into, I'm sorry, my bad, right, into load presets or key map, load key map, right, you see all the presets here, right, so all you have to do is, is go in and, 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 and see what works for you, so I would select that one there, right, and you see all, see, this is a two box drum, drum it five, addictive drums, uh, Akai, MPD24, Alesis control pad, um, Alesis, D, DM5, so you have a, quite a few of them. You have even the settings for BFD2 and BFD Lite here, um, BFD Eco, all right, this is BFD3 standard, um, you have Easy Drummer, General MIDI, um, the closest one I found to my mapping was a roll and one of these roll and pad control. I think this is, this is roll and TD10, but it still didn't match my mapping. Right, so for you guys who have those devices, you could go in and select the preset here and you're up and running. But for me, I had to do this the manual way. At least I started from the, 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 the roll and thing um roll and thing i showed you there earlier right and then I, I i did the rest manually right so that was a fair start anyway but anyway let's move over to the manual side of it all right so i'm i'm into um key map mapping already right if you want to to add these elements here to your your liking or to your preference all you have to do is come over here that right you could right click on any of these F for example i needed my 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 first high tom to be on the c and on a c here all right as you can see the light blue represents the c that i'm hitting here which is c2 right and i'm using a yamaha mo x88 right so um sorry a yamaha mo 88 mo 888 right so this one here it has another um term on it so what i would do i would just go in here and i would cut cut it out i take it out then i would select here and i would go to hit or whatever um articulation you you need i would go over here right and i would click hit and I would drag it and I would put it over here on the key. My bad. See, it's reading on the C now. All right. So, and likewise, this one, you would, I would want this one um, on the B. So, what I would do, what, hit the B, see, it's it highlighted. Um, then I would um, slick, select the hit over here and I would drag it onto it right okay let me see maybe i have something wrong here hit okay all right that's it all right so it's there all right okay but this one Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't need one of these. Which of them? Okay, this one is here. So, okay, we're going to delete this one here. All right. Clear drum. This is how I 
delete this one and then i would remove channel after all right all right so we have five uh, four kits kit pieces there right and these channels here you could move them all right so i would go over here and move this thing i put this percussion piece over here so i have my my um thing in, in ascending order all right so here we go this one all right all right so they are all um, in sequence now right all right so th there we go all right so it's pretty simple and when you you are through you could go and save um the preset you could go ahead and save the preset all right save key plus save key map you could go ahead and save this one and name it your own kit piece right so it's pretty much um easy to do it's just that it's hard to find and there aren't any videos out there that show show you how to do this thing so um i think this video will be the first video if there's not anybody in the pipeline doing anything right now right so it's pretty simple i'm going to be doing um a lot more videos on this at um bfd drum oh my god it is so sweet listen um when when i th i thought i did a track for somebody in florida um um yesterday and my god the drum was sounding pretty great right it was awesome um then i thought that was it right <laughs> then i i went in and i started doing um running the track so to, to record it in pro tools and as i started um running the tracks through different um um tracks right to record it i realized i ha i could even have these three kit pieces here for three kicks and and run them and mix them pre-mix it and run it through and my god it was sounding even better than the drums that was there already and i haven't even mixed that that session as yet so it's it's just awesome i did my little tricks as i always do with any vst i wouldn't i do my little things things that i might wouldn't i wouldn't even tell anybody but these drums are killing trust me the hi-hats are perfect for reggae that was my downfall in 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 addictive drums I, I spoke to them about it they didn't do anything all they did was try to get our money and in bringing addictive drums too without any enhancement any new kit pieces or anything right and this thing have a lot of sounds in it the hi-hats and the crashes perfect for reggae the snares the kicks the first thing when i did this session a session here for a guy in florida the first thing he he he, he brought to my attention and, and i did his first tracks with addictive drums he didn't say anything about drums but when i did the first track with bfd and i sent it to him he, he the first thing he, oh my god that kick is killing i love the kick you know you know so it, it, it already only two tracks i've done with this um, B, um bfd and three and i mean just the first one and you know clients been telling me this kick is killing this is nice you know and and it hasn't even it, i haven't even mixed it it's just a the raw demo i sent to him so you know i'm expecting big things with this 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 drum vst and people who have been fooling around and looking for a good drum vst <laughs> look no further than, than than bfd3 trust me even if you can get a copy of the old one this bfd2 as a matter of fact i use bfd eco for several years and people have been asking me from over all over europe america what am i using for my drum set which drummer <laughs> which drummer am i am i using you know the drum sounds so real in my reggae tracks right and it's bfd eco with with just some basic elements and i i hated bfd 
equal, right? Uh, but it was good. I love it to an extent, but I know there was more to it. And finally, I have it here. So guys, check it out, right? This thing worth every penny. Trust me. So check out BFD, uh, right? And if you have any trouble, <laughs> I could refer you to Alex. This guy is, is super in, in dealing with um, customers. So anyway, um, I would like to see BFD do more video tutorials um, for the, uh, these programs so we could have easy access because I don't have the time to be running around. I have work to do, right? I don't want to be searching around for things. If we can just pop up a video and it's there, that's the reason I'm making this video for people to see how easy it is to use BFD. So anyway, guys, I'm out. Enough respect. Big up to all my fans and supporters of Small Axe Music Productions, all right? Enough respect again, check my website, www.smallaxmp.com, right? Axe as in cutting a tree, all right? Boom, out of here again, all right? <laughs>